In this lecture we will be seeing some of the identities of regular expressions. So these identities of regular expressions are important when you solve some problems related to regular expressions and also if you are giving some exams like gate these identities are important because sometimes you get direct questions based on these identities. Alright so let's get started. So here the first one says that phi plus r equal to r. Now what does this mean? So here phi is used to denote an empty set. So that means if you do the union of phi and r where r is any regular expression then you get back the regular expression r. So plus is used to denote union. So the union of phi and any regular expression is the regular expression itself. Alright that was simple and straightforward. So let's come to the second one. So here it says phi concatenation r union r concatenation phi is equal to phi. That means if you concatenate an empty set phi with a regular expression and if you also concatenate a regular expression with a empty set phi and you perform the union of them then what you get is an empty set phi. Alright so now let's come to the third one. Here it says epsilon r equal to r epsilon equal to r. So in the last lecture we have used this symbol to denote epsilon but let's know that this symbol and this symbol is also used to denote epsilon. So here it says that if you perform the concatenation of epsilon and any regular expression r or the same thing if you perform the concatenation of r and any epsilon symbol then what you get is r itself the regular expression. Alright let's see the fourth one. The fourth one says epsilon closure equal to epsilon. So this is very simple. If you have epsilon and if you perform the closure of that then what you get is epsilon itself. And this is important. This says that the closure of phi is not phi but it is epsilon. So if you have phi and if you perform the closure of this phi then you get epsilon symbol. Okay. Now let's come to the fifth one. This is very simple. Union of two regular expression is a regular expression. R plus R equal to R. That was very simple. Okay so now let's come to the sixth one. The sixth one says R star R star equal to R star. So this means that if you perform the concatenation of the closure of two regular expressions then you get the closure of that regular expression as the result. So we have two regular expressions similar ones R and R and we take the closure of them and then we do the concatenation of them. Then what do we get? We get R star. Okay and let's see the seventh one. This says that R R star equal to R star R. So this basically just means that you can write it in this way or this way. Concatenation of R and its closure is equal to the closure of R concatenation R. So that is what it means. And let's come to the eighth one. This says that R star and the whole of its star equal to R star. That means if you have the closure of a regular expression and if you perform the closure of it again then what you get is the closure of that regular expression itself. Okay. Now let's see the ninth one. This is important. Here it says epsilon plus R R star which is also equal to epsilon plus r star r equal to r star. Now what does this mean? Here you see that we have r r star and here we have r star r. So we already proved in number 7 that these two are the same. So what does this r r star mean? So this r r star means this is the closure of r and if you concatenate it with r what you get is r plus. So I've already explained what is R plus in the previous lecture. So R plus means the closure excluding the epsilon symbol. Okay. So here we get the R plus. That means the closure excluding the epsilon symbol. Now we are doing the union of the epsilon symbol with it. That means you are adding the epsilon symbol to that. So if you add the epsilon symbol to R plus then what do we get? We get closure of R. I hope that was clear to you because R plus was closure excluding epsilon. So if you just add epsilon to it, you get the closure. Okay, so now let's come to the tenth one. Here it says that 
P concatenation Q and the whole of its closure concatenation with P is equal to P and then the whole concatenation of Q and P its closure. So this is something you just have to remember it. Okay, so now let's come to the next one. Here this also you have to just remember it. It says that P plus Q whole closure is equal to P closure concatenation Q closure and its whole closure and it is also equal to P closure union Q closure and its whole closure. Okay, and then the last one says P plus Q concatenation R equal to P R plus Q R. So you can remember it this way. Here you have union of PQ and here we have concatenation of R. So it is just like multiplying it this uh, R inside. So here you get P and this R, PR and this plus is retained over here and then Q and this R, QR. So this is the way you can remember it and also in the same way R concatenation with P plus Q. That means P union Q is equal to RP plus RQ. Here also you can just remember like you are multiplying it inside R and P, R and P plus then R and Q, RQ. So this is just the way to remember it. So these were some of the important identities of regular expressions that you have to remember. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.